Good afternoon. Listen, uh, really excited about this moment. Uh, I've been waiting for this for quite a while and uh, very excited to see uh, how well we perform. Uh, the guys have bust their butts, literally, all summer. And I thought camp went extremely well. Uh, we had minor, but a few uh, injuries, uh, none that I think will uh, linger through uh, this coming ball game this week. We are blessed for this opportunity. This is a huge opportunity for us. Uh, you know, we came here seven years ago, and I think the very first game that we got to play uh, outside uh, conference play was uh, in Orlando. You know, and it was against another HBCU. And fortunately, we was able to win that game, and that was real huge. But now, we looked upon on a national level. And I am so tickled pink and happy that ESPN thought enough of our brand to invite us to play uh, a top 10 1AA uh, football team. Very excited about uh, the season. I think offensively, we're returning quite a bit. More importantly, we're returning the quarterback, our running back, and our wide receiver. So now what we must do is uh, get the front to give these guys some opportunities to make some plays. Uh, defensively, we're returning eight guys that played last year, starters. And that's very significant. So they know exactly what's expected of them. They know how and when. So we expect a lot uh, from our defense. Uh, again, I'm just excited. I'm so looking forward to this season. Uh, so are the guys. We think we've uh, done all the necessary preparation. We got a few things that we need to polish up this week. And uh, we'll get, get headed to uh, Montgomery. Yeah, we'll find out. You know, and the only thing you can do is based it on past history. You know, what have happened and has transpired in the past. And uh, if you do the little things which we think we have done, you know, it all boils down to run, block, and tackle. And uh, the first ball game is so many unknowns. Uh, who's going to be the starting quarterback? Did the offensive coordinator change anything? You know, there's so many unknowns. But uh, I think we're prepared. We're, we're a single gap defense, and that's what we do. Well, you know what? Honestly, it's very little change than what I've, my approach in the past. The only difference primarily for me, I have to know what the offense is doing. I have to know what the special team is doing. Well, in the past, it was primarily just defense. Uh, and that's the only change. And I have a lot of confidence in uh, Coach Barnett and his staff uh, offensively. We'll do some good things. Well, uh, we, we feel that is our brand. We reload, you know, so it's not starting over. You know, we graduated 27 seniors last year, 27 with degrees, let me say that, with degrees. And um, we won't skip a beat. Well, I think it's best we lead the pass in the pass. I think that's the best thing. And, see, and I think the players understand that if no one else does. Let's leave it there. You know, we got to build on what uh, we have now. The one thing that sticks out more than anything in my mind, they have not lost a conference game in four years. That's, that's, that's saying something, you know. So uh, they know how to win. They are a good football team. Uh, so, and I think they are very well coached. Coach Grass and his staff does a tremendous job preparing those young men from week in, week out. Um, so that, that's the one thing that really stands out in my mind. It is a big ball game, you know, but there's two ways that you can look at that thing. Uh, they're, they're a good football team. We know that. And they're a powerhouse. But so are we. We're a good football team. So I say let's put the ball down and let's play. Uh, those uh, 
block, tackle? The run, block, and tackle is one of them. But uh, our formula will remain the same. Stop the run, protect the football, and win the kicking game. Those are going to be the three. Uh, well, it's important that we do what we do and do it well. And that we will do.